What is going on, guys? Root of the Null here, coming back at you with some more Python tutorials. Let's get idle started up, and we can see what we can do here. Create a, uh, create a new script, as always. File.python. See if this says user bin environment python class base define initializer self. We can uh, set a string here. Can be uh, what should it be? This is a joke, just like last time. And then we can set up a conditional statement. Test if this is the current script we are running. Um, <coughs> root equals base. Okay, so now let's take a look at what we're going to be working with today. Um, there is a string function that is out there called uh, lower. And what this will do is convert all the uppercase letters inside your string to the lowercase letters. So let's try. Let's print out self.string.lower. Before we do that, we can print out the original self.string, and we can compare. This is a joke, and then that's the way our string is set up to begin with, and then when we call the function, this is a joke with a lowercase t. So if we add some more uh, capital letters in here, it still converts all of them in there. So let's try and recreate this all on our own. We're going to want to import the string module, because we're going to be working with some of those uh, uppercase and lowercase letters. And we can um, change this to to lower. Define a new function here: self string to change, and then we can get a code block started, and we can go and begin to loop through it. So for item in, or at least for character, that might be a more might be a better name for our variable. And the for the character in the string to change. Get our code block started. We can, we can test if that character is in, their membership operator is in string.ascii uppercase. So this will test if it's an uppercase letter. If it is, we can begin to loop through it, and we're going to want to get the range. So first of all, let's set a length variable outside of the for loop, so we don't have to re repeatedly set that uh, uppercase length can be length of string dot ASCII uppercase. And now for I in range at string dot ASCII uppercase. Actually no, we want to use uppercase length, I'm sorry, we just set that variable and that's why we need it. So we can count through string dot ASCII uppercase and if let's see <coughs> string to change i is equal to ASCII dot no string dot ASCII sorry string dot ASCII lowercase and we're going to index it with our current i variable and the string to change actually should be character and I'll make this window a little bit bigger so you can see all the code that we're typing here. So if the current variable is something that we find inside the lowercase variable uh, list, then we can change it. String to change character can be set to what we found. That actually won't make any sense because <clears throat> if we're changing the string to change characters, that's going to be the uppercase one. We should change it to... hmm. Let's think this through a little bit more. For the i in range uppercase length, so we're looping through the uppercase letters, and if, when we get it, if uppercase character is equal to lowercase i, we should change that to uppercase i, so this is going to be the uppercase variable, then our current variable that we're looking for should be ascii.lowercase i. So we can do string to change character because the current character that we're looking at in the string, and then we can change that to string dot ASCII lowercase indexed with i, and that will likely still give us a problem because I don't think you can change values inside of a string. But let's try it anyway. We'll 
change string to change. We can close this and we can print self dot to lower. We can pass in our string. And let's see if we get any errors. And of course we do. String indices must be integers, not strings. Character. Oh, I see, I see. If the character is equal to the uppercase I, we can test that. String object does not support item assignment. Okay, so we can't change the value that we need here. But we can create a new string. First of all, new string will be blank, and every time we find something in the string that we're looking through, we can add to it. And we can add to the new string. For the character and string to change, we're going to want... If it's uppercase, we can change it. New string, add on the current character that we're looking at. And if not, we can add on the lowercase version. New string plus equals string ASCII lowercase. So we run this now. This is a joke, this is a joke. So this isn't going to work for us just yet because we need to change back new string. That makes sense here. This is a joke and we've converted it to this is a joke. Awesome. So what we've done here is we've created a new string variable and that's going to be our filler string or the current one that we're going to look with. And uh, for each character that we find inside the string that's been passed to us, so in our case this is a joke, if the character is an uppercase letter, then we're going to loop through our uppercase character's um, array, or our list in this case, and we're going to keep checking for the index, and whether the index or not is the same as the character that we're looking at in the uppercase variable, we can use that index to retrieve the lowercase version of it. So then we add that to the new string, so we're just adding on the lowercase version of the letter. If it's something that we don't find as an uppercase letter, we can just add it back on. So if it's a lowercase letter, we don't have to worry about it, we can add it. If it's, if it's, if it's a space character, we don't have to worry about it, we can just add it. If it's an exclamation point, we don't have to worry about it, we can just add it. And that's how it works. It'll only process things that it finds as an uppercase letter because we're testing if those if the character that we're looking at is inside that ASCII uppercase uh, string or that list. It depends on however you want to look at it, but it's still an iterable object, iteratable or object. We can still loop through the string because we'd be able to loop through it just like anything like a, a list or a tuple or that sort of thing. We can loop through it with our in membership operator. So there you go. Uh, I'm sorry about the flops in this video, guys, but this is the way we can get the job done. We can print out the original self.string.lower, and we can use our new function, self.toLower, and we can pass in our string. And it's still going to convert the current string to a lowercase version. If we had uh, this, it'll print out the way it should. If we had this with a capital THI, it'll convert this all to lowercase. If we had some spaces in there, maybe a dot dot dot, and we added those, it's still going to convert all the things that we need to be looking at, the uppercase to lowercase letters. So there you go, guys. Here's how, or at least here's another way of converting all your uppercase letters in your string to a lowercase variable, a lowercase letter, and remember we're using the string module here, so we can create this all on our own just by manually typing in each, each letter, or we could actually just use the ASCII table, and that makes things a whole lot easier on our end. So uh, thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.